Hello guys, KP Shamino here and as you guys can see I'm still in New York and I'm still fishing the unique Shane Pickerel because I like that fish a lot and I started thinking uh, after I made the movie uh, with my lure to fish on this uh, fish and I was thinking let's try to use a bobber the main problem I had was I need to get to the position because they are 60 meters away but it worked at the end and I start fishing a couple of days and I got a lot of trophies but I got a lot of uh, unique pickerels too so I did some calculation and it's a small gold farm spot but those days small gold farm spot is really nice too because you cannot farm like before the patch that you just go to the peacocks in Florida and get like double of your gold all the time back so the statics here, uh, what did I do? I got like 20 fish because you need to pay 6 gold for 5 large minnows because you need to fish with the large minnows again. It's, it's just the same again. So I needed to spend for 20 fish, I needed to spend 24 gold and I got 6 uniques on 20 fish. That means that I got 30 gold back. That means a profit of 6 gold. So uh, that's not bad. That's uh, that's if I calculate it right, six of twenty-four. Uh, that's around one fourth. That's twenty-five percent uh, profit. So that's not bad. It's on twenty fish. I think there is some RNG in it still too. But I got a lot of fish to get the RNG a little bit out. But if I want to test it a little bit better, I need to go one hundred or maybe five hundred. But I think it's always going to be a small profit and you got like uh, experience uh, from it too. So now I'm going to the technical aspect of the fishing. I'm just going to say to you guys uh, how you need to fish on them, uh, the setup. And after this, uh, I got uh, a small video of my day one and day two fish net too. So you guys can see that I'm not lying. So first of all, the setup. So I went with my Nero 450 because I like it a lot. I went with the Callisto MG3000. Why is bobber fishing a little bit easier than the lure fishing? Because you don't need to throw in, throw out uh, the whole time. Uh, and you can go a little bit higher with your, uh, with your line. I'm using the, the bread. Uh, Macfin here, so it's a little bit easier to get him in. With the fluoro, with the lure, it was a little bit harder because you need to watch it. It's still not easy because it takes some time, but you will see this setup is a little bit easier. It's not uh, that the effort is a little bit less. You just throw the bobber in and you just need to wait. So, uh, yeah, here you see my reel and this is very important chubby bobber is very important if you go on info you will see that chubby bobber is if i'm not mistaken here you see it make make it easy to see a long distance too so you can throw really far with it therefore you need to use it uh, i'm using the hook 2.0 here you see it uh, and already I set uh, the 0 0.15 thickness. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I will check it. It's 2.7 kilograms, and the uniques are around uh, 2.5. So that's really good. It's perfectly, you don't have a lot of trouble to get them in. So, uh, and the large middle, of course, that's the main uh, bait. Okay, now I will show you guys how you need to throw. Oh, and the depth. I almost forgot the depth. I'm fishing on 117 centimeters. Now on 173, but you can go 170. That's good too. So you need to go really deep to catch them. I, I tried 30, I tried 60, I tried 90. But I didn't have a lot of bites on it. So just try this and you will be okay. Okay, here you will see my net for today. I only... Uh, got three because I wanted to go to the number 20. 20 is easy to count with because it's 6G for five uh, minnows. So it's nicely divided. Otherwise, I need to give you guys numbers uh, after uh, uh, the comma and all that stuff. But this works a lot better. Here you see one of three. 
one unique of three fish. If the other fish that you catch is always trophies, by the way, too. So you got five gold from them and 104 experience. Okay, how you need to throw is like uh, this. So here is the wheat. This is the chain pickerel spot. So just throw here, just against the wheat. Throw in and then you need to wait. The, the chain pickerel, you will see when he's starting to bite. He's like playing with the bait for a couple of minutes. And you always get a bite. The trick here is that you need to wait a little bit. Because they are just pushing against your bait sometime. But if they bite, it's always a good bite. I think I missed only one fish, but that was my own uh, fault. But it's not hard to get them in. Okay, that's the position, guys. If you got after five minutes not, not a, a bite, just reel in a little bit and let the minnow go a little bit. So that he moves, uh, because the pike likes moving fish, so he comes after it if you play a little bit with it. But uh, that was it for the movie, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a small gold farm, but I think everything now is a gold uh, farm, a small gold farm, I mean. So, uh, yeah, that's it. that's it. I think I had a little bite. You guys see on my tension meter, one box... The, uh, the box all to the bottom is going to be a little bit blue and then you see the, the, the chain pickerel is incoming. It takes some time but it's fun to fish them. So thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helps. See you later. Bye bye.